People who show their dogs at Crofts know a thing or two about how to get the best out of them. Encouragement and praise seem to be the favourite training techniques. But at the other end of the spectrum are devices like these, collars that provide an electric shock and which many owners here would like to see banned. I think it's an outdated idea and it's cruel for the dogs. You shouldn't be, have to shock them to get them to do what you want. It's not a nice thing to be putting on your dog. You wouldn't like it if I came up to you and give you a bit of a pinch, would you? We have to have good contact of the probes to the dog's neck area and what I like to The collars are marketed as a way of improving behaviour but ITV News understands the government is about to propose a ban in England that already exists in Wales. This is the sort of collar that could be outlawed. The band goes around the dog's neck and these two electrodes produce the shock when an owner presses a button on the remote control. But there are different systems. Shock collars can be linked to perimeter fences. Dogs and cats can be trained to expect a shock if they cross them. Supporters say banning them would hamper animal welfare. They contain the animals and yet the animals still have freedom. Quite often when we turn up to install a fence, a dog is chained up or a cat is confined in a cage. We give that animal freedom. But the Kennel Club says the collars are both cruel and ineffective. It can cause dogs to be much more cowed uh, and to be frightened. What we want is happy dogs that actually want to go and learn to train. The RSPCA says the vast majority of dog owners oppose the use of electric collars, which it says can make dogs more aggressive. Now the long campaign to ban them in England is expected to receive government support. Ben Chapman, ITV News at Crofts.